All right, everybody, welcome back. In which we're going to keep the games going. And it's time for the gym. The 1995 PC version, that is. Let's get to it. Welcome to Jeopardy. Let's begin our game. My name's Ted Smith. I'm a print journalist with a major weekly news magazine. I love my job, and I spend my spare time studying the day's events from Washington. Hello, I'm Ruth Goldsmith. I'm a chemist for a pharmaceutical company. I've been interested in science ever since my mother gave me my first science kit for my 10th birthday. Now for the Jeopardy round, in which one daily double Fish. will appear somewhere on the board. Here industry. are the categories. Musical instruments, musical theater, biographies, and finally, cliches. All right, cool. Let's go. Good luck. Thank you. Contestant number one will start with you. Uh, biographies 100, please. Let's take a look at the answer. Let's do that. In 1931, Clara Clemens published a memoir of this author, her father, Contestant number Who is Mark Twain? You are correct. Contestant number Fire one. Glory Days by Dave Marsh has been called the most complete book ever written about this rock star. Contestant number Who is Elvis Presley? Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. No. Oh, Contestant wait. number three. Bruce Springsteen, yeah. Yes. That's correct. Contestant number three. Biography's 300. A double biography of Aaron Burr and this band is subtitled Their Lives, Their Times, Their Duel. Contestant number one. Who is Alexander Hamilton? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number Biography's one. 400. Oh boy. Contestant number one. What would you like to Biography. wager? Schweitzer, an authority on this Baroque composer, published a biography of him in 1905. Who is... Who is Ricard Bachner? No, it's Bach. No, I'm afraid that is oh. testant number one. Published in 1927, The Girl in White Armor is a biography of this saint. Testant number... Who is Joan of Arc? You are correct. Right. Contestant number one. Business and Industry 100. Turner Broadcasting launched this 24 hour information service in 1980. Contestant number one. What is CNN? You are correct. Contestant number Business one. Industry 200. Swedish automaker Volvo owns about one fourth of the stock of this largest car rental company. Contestant number one. What is Brinks? Oh, sorry. No. That's not right. Contestant number two. Budget? Sorry. No. That's incorrect. Contestant number three. Is it Hertz? Yes. Yep. That's correct. Contestant number three. Right. In 1967, McDonnell Aircraft version this aircraft firm. Contestant number one. What is it, Douglas? Yes. That's correct. Contestant this number is one. Bayer, BASF, and Hopes are the three big of this country's chemical industry. Contestant number three. What is Austria? No. Sorry. Incorrect. Contestant number one. What is Germany? You are correct. Contestant this number one. This company founded in 
founded by William Gates developed the MS-DOS operating system. Contestant number two. Microsoft, yeah, I knew that one. Too late. Yes. Contestant number two. All right, Miss Flex from it. It's key, it's then coming the Latin words for key and string, clavis and corda. Contestant number three. What is harpsichord? Yep. Yeah. Incorrect. No. Contestant number one. Key and string, clavis and corda. What is a clavichord? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. Scholars think the lure, an ancient trumpet, may have once been made for this part of a mammoth. Contestant number three. It's tusks, yep. You are contestant number three. Played since the Crusades, this side-blown flute is often paired with drums. Contestant number two. The fight, yep. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number two. The shang, a Chinese mouth organ, has pipes made of this giant grass. Contestant number two. Eucalyptus? No. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Contestant number one. What is bamboo? Yes, that's correct. Contestant this number one. He was the first composer to write for the Celeste in his Nutcracker Ballet. Contestant number one. Who is Tchaikovsky? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. Uh, cliche is 100. According to the cliche, a man who lacks perception can't do this past the end of his nose. Contestant number three. C, yep. You are correct. Contestant number three. Okay. Gardeners know to nip something in this means to stop it from developing. Contestant number one. What is the bud? You are correct. Contestant number one. It often proceeds in the mouth or on his luck. Contestant number one. Was down. All right. You contestant number one. Says four hundred. A person newly in office may make sweeping changes. Hence, a new one of these sweeps clean. Contestant number three. You are correct. Contestant number three. Oh, well. The phrase, love me, love this pet, dates all the way back to St. Bernard. Contestant number one. What is my dog? You are correct. Contestant number Fish one. 100. The rainbow species of this salmon relative gets its name from the broad red band along its side. Contestant number one. What is trout? Oh, yeah. Contestant number one. The answer there is... This common cart kept in bowls was developed by the Chinese perhaps as early as the 10th century. Contestant number one. What is a goldfish? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number fish one. In the U.S., the fish and chips franchise business uses this fish almost exclusively. Contestant number one. Sorry. No. Contestant number three. Whitefish? No. Sorry. Incorrect. Contestant number two. Trout? No. The Atlantic Cod. No, I'm a contestant number fish one. Forward. Commercially, one of the most important species of this food fish is the skipjack, or oceanic bonito. Contestant number one. Tuna. You are correct. Contestant number fish one. Water. This shark tooth fish with an American Spanish name has been called the Tiger of the Sea. Contestant number three. Is it the Portuguese man of war? No. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Contestant number two. The Great Barracuda. You are contestant number two. The answer is. In 1970, Groucho was a consult consultant on Minnie's Boys, the story of these brothers and their mother. 
Testant number one. Who are the Marx Brothers? Oh, yeah. Yes. Select again. Contestant this number one. This musical was based on a book called The Year the Yankees Lost the Pennant. Contestant number one. What is damn Yankees? Yes. That's correct. Contestant this number one. Act one of this 1970s musical ends with the song You Won't Be an Orphan for Long. Contestant number one. Contestant number one. In a 1964 musical, the waiters at the Harmonia Garden sing this title song to Mrs. Levi. Contestant number three. Hello, Dolly? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's correct. Contestant number three. This 1945 Rogers and Hammerstein musical is based on Lilium, a Hungarian play by Ferenc Molnar. Contestant number two. State Fair? I'm sorry. No. That's wrong. Contestant number three. Carousel is the one. You are correct. Now for the double jeopardy round with two daily doubles somewhere on the board in these categories. Biblical people. Awards. World geography. Oh, good. And poets of poetry. I like the world geography category a lot. Good luck. Contestant number two, here is the clue. Log cabins were introduced to North America in Del North America, Delaware by immigrants from the Scandinavian country. Contestant number one. What is Sweden? You are correct. Contestant number World one. Geography 200. The main part of Cairo lies on two islands at the east bank of this river. Contestant number What is the Nile? You are correct. Testant number one. The Tar Desert occupies part of Pakistan and much of this country's Haryana and Rajasthan states. Contestant uh, number three. Nepal? No! Sorry, that's incorrect. Contestant number one. Is India. You are correct. Contestant Hold number one. This body of water borders the northern coast of Wales. Contestant number one. You are correct. Contestant number one. The capitals of British Columbia, Hong Kong, and the Seychelles share this name. Contestant number What is Victoria? You are correct. Contestant number one. Denmark's highest point, Yedin Skotholz, rises only 568 feet on this peninsula. Contestant number one. You are correct. Yeah, Contestant number one. Uh, let's take American history for 400. I'll, I'll go for it. Before becoming Chief Justice in 1789, he was Secretary of Foreign Affairs in the Continental Congress. Contestant number one. Who is John Jay? Oh, yeah. Yes. Contestant number one. American history 600. In 1968, this Republican campaign for president promising a chicken in every pot. Contestant number Herbert Hoover. Yes, yep, that's correct. Contestant number two. Okay. Judge John T. Ralston presided over this Dayton, Tennessee trial in July 1925. Contestant number two. The Scopes trial. That's what I was thinking. You are yeah. correct. Contestant number two. Oh, right. the, the first gusher in the U.S. occurred in this oil field near Beaumont, Texas in 1901. Contestant number three. The spindle top field? Yep. Yes. That's contestant number three. Now on the gems and jewelry. It's a traditional gem for an engagement ring. Contestant number one. What is a diamond? You are correct. Contestant number one. The oldest Chinese carvings made from this gem are simple tools and amulets. Contestant number one. Yes, that's correct. Sure Contestant number one. Popular award in brooches, Cairngorm is a smoky quartz from this country. 
Contestant number two. It's on the tip of my tongue. Wrong. Contestant number one. I'll try it. What is Australia? No, I'm afraid that is not correct. Ruth, you know what? Contestant number three. Scotland. Yes. It's Scotland. That's correct. Okay. Contestant number three. All right. Poetry 600. In a Lewis Carroll poem, these two title characters were walking close at hand. Contestant number one. Were the walrus and the carpenter? Yes. That's correct. Contestant number I'll one. The most highly prized color of this September gem is cornflower blue. Contestant number one. What is sapphire? Yes, that's correct. Sure Contestant number one. An English art critic said this gem shows the most glorious colors to be seen in the world. Contestant number three. Opal? You are correct. Contestant number three. His last volume of poetry, The Raven and Other Poems, was published in 1845. Contestant number two. Edgar Allan Poe, I need that one. Yes, Too late. that's correct. Contestant number two. Okay. This poet's birthplace in Galesburg, Illinois, displays the first edition of his Lincoln biography. Contestant number two. Frost? No. Incorrect. Contestant number three. Whittier? Uh-uh. Sorry. Incorrect. Contestant number... Who was Carl Sandberg? See the one? You are. Contestant oh, number right. one. Okay. Uh, let's have awards for 200. Sylvester Stallone received Best Actor and Best Original Screenplay Oscar nominations for this 1976 film. Contestant number one. What is Rocky? Yep. Yes. Select again. Awards 400. Contestant number one. His No Respect LP won a Grammy for Best Comedy Recording of 1980. Contestant number one. Who is Rodney Dangerfield? Yes. That's correct. Contestant number one. This chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1991. Contestant number three. Nope. Incorrect. Contestant number two. Colin Powell. Yep, he's the one. Yes. Contestant number two. In the title role of 1964, it was What Makes Sammy Run. This husband of Edie Gore got a Tony nomination. Contestant number three. Steve Allen? Uh-uh. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Contestant number two? Um, that's wrong. Oh, sorry. That's not right. I'm not going to try this one. I don't know it. But look at my score right now. $9,800. Like it close to 10000 And it's Steve Lawrence. Contestant number two? This, in 1962, this father of the hydrogen bomb was given the Fermi Award for Achievement in Atomic Energy. Contestant number one. Who is Edward Teller? That's right. Yes. It's Select again. Contestant number one. After being delivered from the belly of the great fish, he warned Nineveh of its great evil. Contestant number one. Who is Jonah? Yeah. You contestant number one? I'll be mean 400. According to Mark, he bent to the will of the mob in sending Jesus to the cross. Contestant number two? Pontius Pilate? You are correct. One. Contestant number two? Her two husbands were Uriah the Hittite and David the King. Contestant number one? Who was Bathsheba? You are correct. Contestant number one? It's the Daily Double. Uh, do Contestant it. number one, what would you like to wager? This judge's general, Barak, refused to bow the Canaanite unless she accompanied him. Who was Ruth? Yeah, 
Deborah. No, I'm oh, afraid oh. that is not. Contestant number one. The original name of this band, thrown in the fiery furnace, was Azaria. Contestant number three. Shadrach. Incorrect. No. Testant number one. A poem about him begins, Come all you rounders if you want to hear a story about a brave engineer. Contestant number one. Is this Casey Jones? Yeah. Contestant number wow. one. The clue? It's the Daily Double. Contestant number one, what would you like to wager? Before he died, this part requested that crossing the bar appear last in his sections. Oh, sorry. That's not right. The final Jeopardy category is... Contestant number one, what would you like to wager? The final Jeopardy clue is... Contestant number three, your final Jeopardy response was, yes, that's correct. Let's see what contestant number three wagered. $50, so that takes Ruth up to $150. I couldn't be caught anyway, so that's all right. Your total? Contestant number two, your final Jeopardy response was, incorrect. Let's see what contestant number two wagered. $350, so you're down to $350, you lose half your money. Your total? Contestant number one, your final Jeopardy response was, sorry, incorrect. Let's see what contestant number one wagered. 600 only, giving me $10,000 this game, so I've won. Your total? Contestant number one, you are now the reigning Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. Thank you. And I'll see you all for the next segment right after this.